In this tutorial we're going to learn to build interactive content with Articulate Storyline. Now before we get started let's think about interactivity in a general sense. When you build e-learning courses you have three main types of interactions. You have click interactions, mouse over interactions, and dragging interactions. In this particular example we have an interaction where I'm going to click to make my decision and I reveal some information. So I click and that reveals information. Now this next example is the exact same scenario but instead of clicking I'm using a mouse over and that reveals the information. And now in this next example the exact same scenario but instead of clicking or mouse over I'm going to use a drag. So I'm going to drag my selection and you can see it then reveals the information. So all three scenarios are generally the same but the interactivity is different and as you can see the interactivity can be somewhat interchangeable. It just depends on your needs. So let's go ahead and build interactive content in Storyline. I'm going to close the preview and we're going to insert a new slide. So go to Insert, New Slide and we'll just select a basic layout. So we'll select a blank slide. And what we want to do is build some interactive content. Now when you work with interactive content in Storyline you have three main areas that you'll be focusing on. And that would be the states which are down here, your slide layers which are over here, and your triggers which are up here. Any object that you put on the slide can have multiple states. And to change it from one state to the next you'd use a trigger. And the same thing with slide layers. You can have multiple slide layers and to show or hide slide layers you'd use triggers. Now in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to build the three interaction types. So the click, the mouse over, and the drag. But we're going to do them all as state changes. And then in another tutorial we'll actually look at working with triggers and slide layers. So let's go ahead and do a simple interaction. What we want to do is have a shape on the screen and when we click on the shape we want to change its color. So I'm going to insert a shape. So I've got a shape here. We'll just got our rectangle. I'm going to type in click so we know that this is our click interaction. And I'm going to duplicate this because we need a click, we need a mouse over, and we need to drag. So I'm going to duplicate this by holding the shift and control key down and just drag it over here. And then I'm going to drag it over here again. Now this one is going to be our mouse over. And this one here will be our drag. So I can call it drag. All right, so we've got our click, our mouse over, and our drag. Now we need to have state changes because right now if I click on an object, I come down here, there's only a normal state. So I can't really trigger anything, so I need to have a new state. So to do that, we go to the state section here, click on Edit States, and then we'll just create a new state. And you can title it whatever you want to. I'm going to title this orange. Hit Add. And now I have a new state that's titled orange. So I have a normal state and I have my orange state. Now of course they look the same so I need to make the orange state look different. So why not just fill it with orange. So make sure you have the orange state selected. Come over to the Format Options and you can choose Shape Fill. We'll just choose orange. And so now I have a normal state and an orange state. Now I want to put states on both of these other shapes as well. So I'll show you a shortcut. Select your object with the states and the formatting that you like. Then go over to Home. Double click on Format Painter. And that keeps it enabled. And then I can select this shape. And I can select this shape. And now when I click away you'll notice that all three shapes now have the orange state. So the Format Painter picks up the format from the original shape and applies it to the other ones. So now we have three shapes. They all have orange states to them. Now this shape we want to change on a click. So what we'll do is put a trigger on here that when I click on this box it's just going to change it from normal or blue to orange. So we need to add a trigger. Now triggers are the programming part of Storyline. And generally I kind of talk through the triggers and that helps me think through what I'm trying to do. So it's always what do I want to do? When do I want to do it? So in this case I want to change the state of this box from blue or normal 
to orange and when do I want to do it when the user clicks. So what do I want to do? When do I want to do it? So I'm going to go ahead and create a trigger. So I select my object. I come over to the Triggers panel and create a new trigger. And then what do I want to do? I want to change the state of and you can see there are my actions and there are a whole host of actions. All the common ones are up here. So I want to change the state of choose what I want to change. In this case it's going to be rectangle 1. Now if you didn't title the objects you can see how the red box helps identify it. So I want to change the state of rectangle 1 to orange and you can choose multiple states. We have some pre-built states and then here's the one we built when the user clicks on rectangle 1. So if we read it, change the state of rectangle 1 to orange when the user clicks. So if we preview this I click and it changes the state. So the interaction is working. Now let's do the same interaction only instead of a click we're going to do a mouse over. So let's come over to this shape and we're going to do the same thing. What do I want to do? When do I want to do it? I want to change the state of that box to orange when the mouse has hovered over that box. So let's create a new trigger. Change the state of uh, rectangle 2 to orange when the mouse is hovered over rectangle 2. Hit OK. And now when we preview this we have a click interaction and we have a mouse over interaction. Now what we want to do is create a drag interaction. So let's go ahead and close this. Now drag interactions are a little bit different because normally you're dragging something somewhere. So we call that a drop target or a drag target. So in this case we need to have a target. So we're going to say we want to change the state of this when it's dragged over a target. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to insert a shape. And this right here will create a shape that looks it's probably about the same size, right? So this will be our drop target here. So I'm going to call this target just so we know what's going on. And I'm going to turn this one gray just so it's a little bit different. So we'll do a light gray here. So this is our target. Now what we want to do is we want to change the state of this object from normal to orange when it's dragged over this target. So let's go ahead and create the trigger. So let's create our trigger. What do I want to do? I want to change the state of that's rectangle 3 which we can see right here, right? Rectangle 3. Change the state of rectangle 3 to orange when and we'll choose when an object is dragged over. So now we have to figure out what object and where it's dragged over. So in this case when an object is dragged over. So the object is going to be the rectangle. So rectangle 2 or 3 is dragged over rectangle 4. Hit OK. And let's preview this. So we have our click interaction, we have our mouse over interaction, and we have a dragging interaction. And you can see it dragged over. You can also change it to a dragged and dropped on. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got my trigger. So I can select my object and here's my trigger. I'm going to double click on the trigger. So what we're going to do is change it up. So it's change the state of that rectangle to orange when, and we'll say when an object is dropped on. So what object, so we'll say rectangle 3 is dropped on rectangle 4. Now let's hit OK. We can preview this slide. So we have our click, our mouse over, and we have a dragging interaction. And that's the essence of building interactive content and storyline using triggered state changes. So what we have here are three of those core interaction types. And you can see how we built the triggers. And so we've got click, mouse overs, and dragging interactions. And we were able to trigger a state change. While the interaction was relatively simple, that's the essence of building interactive content with triggered state changes in Storyline. In the next tutorial we'll look at how to use triggers and layers to expose or hide information.